Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. I'm going to show you how Premiere Pro can do toggle source record and timeline just like Avid. All right, shout out to Mike Brodner for asking me this question. He's a longtime Avid editor that's moved to Premiere Pro, and this was one thing that he uses a lot, and it's called Toggle Source Record and Timeline. It's kind of an odd name. You can almost think about it as unlimited virtual program monitors. Very interesting. We're going to use keyboard shortcuts, and I only had to change one keyboard shortcut. The rest were stock keyboard shortcuts. Let me set this up for you. What Mike was asking for is in Avid, he would quickly go between a different edit and a new edit. So two complete edits. And he would pull from the older edit into a new edit. He wanted to be able to see the new, the old edit in the timeline. And sometimes you might use the pancake timeline, which I'll have a, a tutorial, um, a link to my tutorial on the pancake timeline, but that didn't work. He wanted to be able to see completely different timelines and two different displays. It's unbelievable how easy this is. It's just you might not think about it because there's not one button to do it, but we're going to set that up. Let's go have a look. So here we are with a sequence that's playing in the timeline and playing in the program monitor. On the left-hand side, we have another sequence and typically double-clicking on that sequence opens it over here in the uh, timeline. And if you play, it plays in the program monitor. So Mike wanted it open over here in the source monitor. So you can right click and open this sequence in the source monitor, but you can't actually see it over here in the timeline. If you click on the wrench, you can open the sequence in the timeline. And you can see that it's showing that it is from the source monitor. So if I hit play now, it's playing the sequence in the source monitor and you can see everything in the timeline. If you select this one, it's playing in the program monitor. And if you use shift three, you can go back and forth. So if I hit play now, I'm playing the source monitor. Shift three, I'm playing the program monitor. So let's go look at keyboard shortcuts for this. In the Edit menu on Windows, in the Premiere Pro menu on the Mac, Keyboard Shortcuts, if we search for Open and we look for the Source Monitor, Open Sequence in Timeline, we can give this a keyboard shortcut. Uh, so just for ease of use, I'm going to add shift um, one and it's telling me it's already used. So I'm going to go to shift one and delete that. And now go back and find that. So in the source monitor, open in timeline, shift one. Okay. So now if I clear this out, so there's nothing in here, I can select this shift O to open it in here. And you can see when it opens, the source monitor is also selected. Shift one, it opens in there, shift three. So now it's um, going back and forth between those two. And if I open up Another one, shift O, that's also open in the uh, source monitor, shift one. Now we've got three timelines open, two from the source monitor and one in the program monitor. So if I go through all of these, I'm hitting play. Now I'm playing that sequence, shift three. I'm playing the sequence in the program monitor, shift three. I'm playing the second sequence in the source monitor. And again, what Mike would be doing is, is setting in and out points in here and then copying and pasting that into the main timeline. So using that as a reference. So, so there you go. There's toggle source record in timeline from Avid 
in Premiere Pro. It's just named something completely different. So hopefully you found this informative. If you're new to video review, hey, take a moment and subscribe. We love all of our, our subscribers. And if you want to support us a little more, there's a little site called Patreon where you can support us for as little as $1 a month. And lots of people are giving us more and we really love it. That makes sure that we're going to stay around creating this amazing content for you. There's a whole bunch of free content here. And if you like it, support us because we've got lots more coming. All right, till next time, I'm Colin Smith and I'm here listening to your requests and figuring out how to make Premiere Pro function the way you want it to.